Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at an example for enzyme kinetics. Okay, for this example, we are told that the rate data for an enzymatic reaction in the presence of two different substrates were measured as follows and at a fixed enzymatic concentration. We are given the value of S1, V1, S2, and V2. It is said that we must use the Hannes Wolf plot to find the value of Km and Vm. Now, first, what are these values that we're talking about? S, it's the substrate. So, S within its square brackets, it's the concentration of the substrate vm it's the maximum velocity and can also be represented using vmax and this is dependent on the enzyme concentration km it's the michaels minton constant this constant it's the substrate concentration that gives us the rate at which it's halfway to vmax and it's a useful way to measure how quickly the reaction rate increases with the substrate concentration additionally the value of km measures the affinity of our enzymes meaning how they bind to its substrate therefore a lower km corresponds to a higher affinity of the substrate while vice versa the higher km corresponds to a higher affinity of the substrate to start we can use both word and excel just to make our lives easier you can use your excel just for a quicker calculation method or you can use your calculator if you have to let us first focus on substrate one so s1 we are given the values and v1 also given the values we are first going to now find the value of s over v you can do this on excel and you'll calculate the rest of the values for you. We need the value of S over V because it's going to represent the y-axis of our graph. We already have our substrate concentration which will represent our x-axis. After calculating the value of S over V, now we can therefore plot our graph. You can also add more features like labeling your axis and edit the title on your Excel. Also the trend line which will therefore help us by representing our linear regression line. Now Excel has made our lives easier from our linear regression line, we can now determine our gradient and our intercept. Let us do the very exact same thing now for substrate number two. We are going to calculate the value of S over V. We can also get the linear regression line here by just clicking on the trend, more options, and select also show on our graph. We can also now determine our gradient and our intercept. Now let's go back to our Word document and calculate everything else that's remaining. Remember that we were asked to calculate Km and Vm for each substrate. From our Hannes Wolf equation, we know that the slope can be represented as 1 over Vm. And if we read this from our linear regression equation, we get 2.03. And therefore, we can simply find our Vm by just doing an inverse 1 over 2 over 3 to get 0 0.49, which is our velocity, the maximum velocity. Now let's calculate the intercept. Now the intercept is our Km subscript over Vm. We already have our Vm and we know our intercept. So let's calculate the Km by just saying Vm multiplied by the intercept and we should get 155.82. Do the exact same thing for substrate number two. Based on our results, what can we interfere regarding these two substrates? Okay, now to answer that, remember we said Km will measure the enzyme affinity, meaning how much it will bond to its substrate. So the lower the Km, it will correspond to a higher affinity of the substrate, while a higher Km corresponds to a lower affinity of the substrate. By looking at our results, substrate one has a lower Vmax compared to substrate 2 but substrate 1 has a higher Km value compared to substrate number 2. So in conclusion we can basically see the enzyme that has the highest affinity will therefore be substrate number 2. Okay thanks for watching till next time bye